Hi everybody, we're back. This is Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org and I'm here with John MacArthur. And this is the Dell Storage Forum 2012 and this is theCUBE where we bring you the smartest people we can find, we extract the signal from the noise, we package information and share it with you, our audience. Tweet me at, at dvellante, at Stu is my other co-host. You can tweet us, ask us questions. We're here with Jeff Eccles, who's the Senior Director of Product Marketing at Commvault. John, Commvault's one of these companies, whenever I talk to Commvault, I go, really, you guys can do that? <laughs> <laughs> so it's got a rich history, does a lot of really interesting things, um, you know, particularly in the area of data protection and other you know, innovations, but um, first of all, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you very much, appreciate yeah, it. Jeff, one of the reasons I wanted to have you on is you both have a, you have a legacy with Dell, you came from Dell, and you joined Commvault I think about seven years ago, is that right? right? That's yeah. about right. So, and you've been working very, very closely with Dell. Uh, so, I want to hear a little bit about sort of the, the dell Commvault relationship. Sure. And, 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 and then a little bit of discussion about what you're doing in terms of integration with sure. uh, Snapshot technology. There's been a lot of discussion regarding Snapshot. Absolutely, so our relationship goes back uh, actually well over seven years. Um, gosh, it's, it's, it's been a long time, but um, we've been integrating for years with, with Dell. Um, obviously we're a software company, uh, and so it's a, it's, a, it's a natural match to have uh, just great hardware technology and Commvault. Um, and so we've always come at market from a, uh, from a from a backup standpoint and over the years with that single platform software, we've added in archiving, replication, um, kind of re reporting, uh, what we used to call storage resource management. And uh, all that's built into a single platform and so we've always been able to come in and really complement that, uh, that Dell story very well. And um, just continuing down that line, you know, we've, um, I guess in the last couple of years, really built out the uh, snapshot integration story. So as you guys know, the market's really moving from uh, kind of that traditional streaming backup story to more of a, of a snapshot and replication approach to the market. And uh, Commvault's really tried to lead the charge on uh, just getting <coughs> deep integration across uh, those, those, those hardware snapshot APIs combined with our application intelligence and our scheduling and our catalog. Really, if you kind of combine those two things together, uh, it solves a lot of problems that customers have with being able to find application you know, specific data, whether it's a file or, or an object, or I heard you talking about objects mm -hmm. earlier, or a, uh, an email. Um, and so, uh, this week we're really talking about our, our snapshot integration with with Compellent. And uh, we've obviously, we've, we've had it with Equalogic. Um, we've got it with their, with their PowerVault MD, kind of lower end and storage arrays. Uh, but really uh, extending that Compellent story even further by integrating with that uh, Compellent snapshot uh, methodology and being able to kind of deduplicate backup data off to other Dell storage products uh, like the DL, uh, the DL2200, which is a... That's a disk library. It's a disk, right. that's right. It's a, it's a PowerVault disk library uh, for backup to disk. And so that really kind of complements uh, you know, the tiering, you know, coming off of that primary snapshot copy, moving that into a, a secondary disk uh, target, and then even going even further uh, to, to go uh, off to tape. You know, Dell has a strong uh, tape portfolio as well. So you know, having a, a console to really tie all of those products together from a, uh, uh, from a snapshot and a recovery standpoint is really where we've been focusing our efforts with Dell. When you go into the customers, uh, Dell's got a, a broadening storage portfolio. Are you finding customers that have all three sort of uh, tiers of storage in there, or do they tend to be concentrated in one area? Um, yeah, I think we've, we've, we find both. I mean, obviously Dell's got a lot of loyalty in their base, so there's quite a few PowerVault customers out there that have always you know, been buying PowerVault disk. Uh, uh, obviously, since the acquisitions of, of Equalogic and Compellent, um, I think a lot of their customers have kind of grown with them, and as they look for primary storage, or they need uh, more and more advanced storage technologies, uh, Compellent makes a lot of sense for a lot of those did, PowerVault did customers. Did you have relationships with Equalogic prior to the acquisition? Ab absolutely, so both, you, both you Equalogic and, and Compellent. In fact, Bob, who was just up here, we used to work with him a couple of years back, so okay. it's, good to, it's good to have that, that same continuity as they move into Dell. So Jeff, what are the big changes that are going on in data protection, and how, are, how is Commvault leveraging them and capitalizing on them? Yeah, I would, you know, I'd say the biggest change that's going on um, with protection is really uh, what I was talking about a minute ago. It's, it's moving to more of a snapshot, uh, s starting with a snapshot story. So that recovery story is becoming more important. Um, you know, back in the old days, I think, you know, you know, backup and getting data backed up was something that everybody kind of measured and how successful were my backups. Now it's, I don't have time to get things back from tape. Uh, I need to get my application back uh, up and running in, in a matter of a couple hours or less in a lot of cases. Um, so whether it's you know Exchange or SQL or, or Oracle, um, seen a lot more shift to a, a snapshot story, 
Um, and then again, that, that replication piece, so being able to you know, move data from one side to, to another side, whether that's off-site, whether that's in the cloud. Cloud's another big piece where we are starting to see, especially in that kind of mid-tier, lower-tier market, uh, people are starting to move data into cloud infrastructure. Um, and that's so what's your relationship with the cloud providers or how, how are you sort of sure. leveraging that? Sure, so we don't offer direct cloud services to the market, but we do uh, enable uh, cloud infrastructure. So it's more of a, it's a hybrid approach I would say. For example, with, with uh, Dell Solution, that DL Power Vault library, disk library you were talking about, uh, it's great for keeping local backup copies, uh, but we also have a storage connector out into the public cloud and so we are seeing, uh, the, again, those SMB customers kind of tier backup copies out there. Do you, do, do, so do you have the relationships with the cloud providers or does the customer have the relationship with the cloud provider? It's the customer that has relationships. So the customer would have a relationship with a, uh, uh, for Microsoft, for example. And so mm -hmm. they could tier backup data into a, an Azure cloud right. and then use those uh, Azure servers to mount that backup copy in the event of a, of a local disaster. In, in terms of the com uh, uh, Commvault customer base, are you seeing any sort of preferences among the customers among, uh, re between the various cloud providers? You know, it's still a bit early to tell. I think we've got f four to five different uh, public cloud storage targets that we do integrate with. Um, and uh, you know, I, I think you, you know, from our perspective, seeing you know Amazon and Microsoft are obviously ones. And from a brand perspective, people know those those companies, and so start to uh, are starting to work with with those folks on different little projects just to kind of test it out and see how mm -hmm. it works. But um, quite a few. Some of the resellers are also creating their own little sort of regional private cloud or public cloud uh, offering to to, yep. to serve their customers. Are you are you seeing more uptake on that? Yes, I mean, I, I think resellers in general are also um, uh, wanting to build those solutions because they know the customers are starting to look for lower cost ways to, to kind of re retain and hang on to data. Uh, and so we do see public uh, you know, so, uh, resellers start to build out their cloud infrastructure. Maybe it's using like an OpenStack uh, type of uh, uh, layer that they can put on top of their own products. A lot of them are starting to you know, look at Dell products, you know, like, a, like a Dell DX you heard about a second ago, that's object storage, which could be a cloud storage target for a reseller mm -hmm. uh, that Commvault could, could naturally tier data into. How did the, um, how did the Aperture um, acquisition impact sort of your relationship with Dell and how do you position the, the offerings? Great question. You know, it's, I think it made a lot of sense um, for, for Dell. I mean, I, I think that uh, we will complement that one actually really well. Okay, so tell me how you're going to complement that. The way we complement it, I mean, our, our sweet spot in the market is more focused on enterprise, on larger types of, uh, uh, of accounts. And so we spend a lot of time with Dell selling a, a kind of a larger enterprise story around protecting um, not just Windows, but also Linux and Unix and uh, you know the different applications, Oracle and SAP that kind of work across that. So, um, and then and then mixing across not just uh, going back to that primary you know snapshot story. So spending time talking about a modern story with snapshots, backing up to disk, all the way to their tape um, into their tape portfolio. So that that type of sale I think will still exist with Commvault as we go forward. Um, and, uh, and, really complement it. and then Aperture will go where? Then what? I, I, you know, I think I think Dell will continue to to build that out. I think right now they're um, going to be a very strong player in that that SMB and mid market space, and uh, I, I I would expect Dell to continue to try and and uh, and develop more uh, more awareness uh, across the different um, storage medium out there. Um, you know, I, I think from a from a scale perspective, we'll still we'll still play for a long time with Dell with where they're focusing. So backup software tends to drive the, the sort of decision. Would you agree with that? I mean, it's been sort of the tip of the spear. Is that a fair statement? Uh, uh, decision for for a customer. For a customer, yeah, absolutely. I think I think in a lot of it's traditionally been that way. I think that uh, one of the things we do see with, with server virtualization, for example, is we've seen a lot of folks run out there fast and try and build out a virtualization story, uh, but not quite have that, that backup component to it. Right. And so we've, we've actually done, uh, I think we've done very well, even working with Dell as in the going into, the, into those accounts where customers kind of get to a point where they've got uh, dozens or even hundreds of VMs and all of a sudden they're trying to figure out, whoa, hang on, how do I, how do I what's my protection story so, here with this? So is virtualization sort of changing that, um, that tip of the spear to somewhere else? I mean, is it changing to the, I don't know, backup absolutely. appliance or to the new paradigm of absolutely, backup? Absolutely, absolutely. In fact, the, in fact, the number one, um, the number one use case for that snapshot uh, protection and story that I was talking about a minute ago is virtualization, um, because what you've got 
is you've got fewer servers in the environment that are much more taxed from an I.O. standpoint because they're trying to handle all these VMs. So you don't have any bandwidth to kind of, uh, from a CPU standpoint, to drive a backup copy anymore. So you've got to start with a snapshot copy um, and, then, and then get all of that processing off of that ESX server. So something that can come in and mount those snapshots, can catalog those VMs, understand what's in those VMs, and then that server can, it can drive those backup copies, again, off that ESX host, because without that, you, there's just no, no realistic way. And no one, can, no one can continue to put VMs in, uh, or agents inside of VMs. It just, you know, as you get into the hundreds, you just can't scale that. I wrote long. a piece, must have been almost two years ago now, saying uh, backup is broken, data protection as a service is the fix. And the premise of the piece was that backup is, you know, one size fits all, but applications have different RPO and RTO requirements. You're right. And so, um, I'm, I like what I'm hearing from Dell today, and this is again, I always say this when I say combat, combat you guys do that. <laughs> um, you, you're the best kept secret in my world, maybe I'm just talking to the wrong people, but <laughs> you know, I do talk to your customers, you know, I run into you guys because you're out there, but um, that vision seems to me to be the right one, as opposed to just you know, continuing to throw sort of a tape-based mentality right. and throw disk at the problem. It just right. seems to me there's a better way to do it, and the problem is the backup window. Right. You know, and we've been chasing the backup window, you know, bowing down to the backup window for decades. So how does that change <laughs> given this whole notion of snapshots? Uh, you, you hit the nail on the head. I mean, there, there, there increasingly is not a backup window. Um, so you, I think, again, you've got you've to start with that snapshot. And by the way, thank you for saying all that uh, about uh, some of the best kept secret. In fact, today, the, I know the, uh, the Gartner Magic Quadrant came out just this morning and, and, and had Convault in the leader's quadrant. So we've, we've been excited about trying to get that story awesome. out there more and more. Thank you, know. you very much. But, uh, but you're, you're dead on. There, there increasingly is not a, uh, a backup window um, anymore. So it's, it's got to it's start with that snapshot angle. Um, and it's got to get that, you got to get that processing off of that ESX server. So I think that, I think you'll continue to see more and more of that as people, as, as VMware proliferates. And the other thing I'll say is, uh, as applications start living inside those VMs, you know, as, you know, I think we've all seen that, you know, VMware has, has dominated everywhere in, in terms of, you know, infrastructure and test and dev. You know, moving applications into VMware is just, is really accelerating right now. And so, um, as people try to figure out how to recover exchange or, um, or, or SQL instances inside of running inside of VMs, right? That's uh, that's the real trick here. You've got to you, you got to have that snapshot copy in order to get you know, get back some, from something, and then you've got to have something off host that can drive those backups without taxing that ESX server. So that that's what you're going to see more and more. The 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 storage software, the backup software landscape. And the backup in general, the landscape is changing. The pieces are moving around. The chessboard, yeah. you guys had a, used to have, a, I'm, I'm sure, you, sure you still do at the customer level, a very tight relationship, for example, with data domain. Then EMC goes and buys data domain. Right. And of course, they own Legato. Right. Um, you're doing stuff with, with NetApp, which is pretty clean, actually, because right. they don't own any kind of software. Right. Dell buys AppAssure. That's, you know, you got some positioning <laughs> down, that's good. But yeah. where do you see all this going? I mean, you see, like, hardware companies clearly getting more into software. Are you guys going to start making hardware? <laughs> You know, excuse, I, I don't uh, no. never we, say we, never. No, right? we, we, we will not start <laughs> making hardware. But uh, you know, going back to my earlier point on uh, you know that you're talking about that PowerVault DL. I mean, that is that is really our only um, uh, hardware. You know, coming out of a factory with Commvault already on it and right. kind of fine tuned mm -hmm. for all the performance stuff we're talking about for snapshots and, and backup to disk. Uh, that will increasingly be more of our play. A, a partnership, you know, strategy around yeah, hardware. I mean, we've seen that. We've seen that with IBM. I mean, at, right. at Edge, one of the exhibitors there. You know, sells a, a Dell, uh, sells an IBM server with, a, uh, and uh, their SAN volume controller with yeah. software in it. So we're seeing that sort of model for some of the software companies. Clearly, the systems com companies right. want to have more of a software play right. going forward. What, what's your take on the converged infrastructure? So you've got, yeah, you've got you've got VCE and and, and you've got you know Dell's coming out with more of a converged infrastructure story. IBM's got one. Yep. What's your play in that? Uh, great question. I was, in fact, I was getting ready to go to you that next. You were going to answer we, that we, question uh, before uh, I asked but it. Well, huh? yeah, you started, you, you, you're right. The hardware <laughs> guys do want to have more of a software element to it. And what you're seeing uh, uh, come out of that is converged infrastructure. It is, you know, it is literally um, not just their servers, not just their storage, not just their networking, but they are going out and partnering with different software providers like a Commvault or a VMware. Um, and, they're, and they're putting that together in a package and and there and there are a, a lot of customers that want to buy that way. They want to you you tell me what what do you recommend as a fine-tuned recipe yeah. that I, I'm going to get out of this? And so our play in that to answer your question is that almost all of those converged uh, infrastructures are missing data protection. 
And so, you yep. know, they've, they're all, they've got VMware, they've got the management of the VMware, they've got the storage. We're coming in right now with a reference architecture. In fact, that's what we're here talking about this week, is a compellent reference architecture okay. for VMware. So here's a block of Commvault you drop in. So we're going to see a VCEC then. Yeah, yeah, that's right, C being Commvault at the end. Yeah, right? I yeah. right. I like that. <laughs> well, you're right. I mean, um, when the f well, I remember when these reference architecture architectures first started to come out, it's like, uh, do you have a reference architecture for backup? Uh, exactly. It's forthcoming, you know. <laughs> so it's always the, oh yeah, we got to back this stuff up. And uh, yeah. and yeah. then the other the other great quote I heard from a customer the other day he said to me, how do you, uh, he said, you know how I back up a petabyte? I don't. I don't. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So That's point being, you know, yeah. your your vision. So Commvault again, very interesting company. It's uh, it's a it's about a four hundred million dollar right. company with a two billion dollar market cap. So obviously. Obviously, you wouldn't want to get into hardware because that, you know, that we multiple, that, that revenue down. multiple would come <laughs> crashing down. Um, Oracle and uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oracle's still doing pretty well. But uh, and uh, I, I really, I've always been intrigued by the company. You've always done some very innovative things, and uh, you know, I'd like to see you turn up the the volume on marketing now. So that, so the cube hopefully will help. Uh, that, yeah, <laughs> that's why we're here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, you're 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 absolutely right, and uh, I think. You're right, there, I think that, that, that protection element missing from those those uh, those blocks, I think it's, again, going back, I think it's got to be snapshot based, and so that's really where our play is, is la you know, latch onto that snapshot story, tell that modern story, and um, and then just you know make sure we're we're clicking with those reference architectures as the as the de facto standard for, for backing those up, so. Cool. All right, Jeff, well thanks very much for coming on theCUBE, it was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you, you very much. And, uh, appreciate pleasure. the update yeah. on Commvault. Thank you very much. All right, Thank keep you. it right, right there. Uh, we are live from the Dell Storage Forum. We'll be right back after this word from Dell, and um, keep it right there. <laughs>